Matt Emerson, guess what? Business planning month? It's still October. Whoa! One more week of business planning. We're going to bring it all together in an episode called Activate Your 60-Day Action Plan. Today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. Welcome to Wandering But Not Lost, your online source for finding balance so that you can align, connect, and prosper. I'm living right here and now and I don't want to miss out. Is this what life's all about? The world is calling and I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. And now your hosts, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, welcome to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 141. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jen O'Brien, it is. The, the, is this like the six? Is this the six? This. What are you I doing? Want do, I want to do one to twin powers. Oh. oh. There we go. All right, there it is. Because King of we are evil. <laughs> form of ice. <laughs> form of a bucket of water. <laughs> okay. or, or Zena. Or is it Jan? No, Jan was the boy, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, uh, very sad for him because he always had to be some sort of form of water. What the hell? Form of an ice bridge. What the? What? Oh, the Wonder Twins. Well, we are doing that because we both chose Find Your Path, Wandering But Not Lost t shirt today, which is where we go for our final segment on Disney. Yeah. Right? So yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. Is there anything else worthy of talking about today? Well, I'll just tell you, I've had one heck of a week, right? Uh, we had the Blue Ridge Fire here in Yorba Linda where, you know, my wife and I had to freaking box up our stuff again because we didn't know if the wind, if the wind blew, literally, if the wind blows slightly in the wrong direction, we were going to be evacuated. So we were very lucky it didn't happen. They There, there were some homes to... Uh, uh, I don't know if they were completely destroyed, but there were some homes. I think there were 10 homes in New Orleans, the uh, Chino Hills area that were damaged. And, um, uh, you know, those firefighters, good Lord, they were so windy on Monday. I think they were saying they were gusts up to 95 miles an hour. I mean, that's hurricane, you know, speed yeah. winds. Well, scary. Of hurricane, another hurricane, of course, hit. <laughs> exactly. Coast, and I have family in the Georgia area where they definitely had some tree damage and nobody was hurt or anything. But it's crazy. We are living in crazy times. We are. I'm telling you, just when you think 2020 can't deliver anything else, it just keeps on giving. The year that just keeps <laughs> on giving. You know, and in, in preparation for this episode on wrapping it all up for, for putting a bow on this 2020 and, and finishing strong, uh, I, I was going back to an article that we wrote or a podcast that we did on 2020 vision okay <laughs> did you go to 2020 vision in a dawn of a new decade well it is a new decade and this has been the craziest year for a, hopefully what is not going to be a tumultuous decade of our lives for goodness sake but this has been a weird weird year i suppose you know if we can all soldier through this year you know seriously it's like come on bring it what else can you give me we're getting yeah. no things left and right Honestly, and we are going to talk a little bit about that in November. We're going to have gratitude as our focus. We're going to look for the positives. We're go because you have to. I mean, that is living. I mean, we you can sit around and and uh, we're, you know we're living in a time where pre-show we were talking about how polarized our country is, but even the yeah. world. And but I really think that's all part of the shakeup and the chaos. And even Mother Nature, all the stuff you know we have with uh, climate issues, and it's just a big, huge shake it all up and let's see where it's all going to land and that's where we have to take charge of what we're going to do about it. that's right and there and you have a choice you have a choice every morning right do you just pull the covers back over your head and just try wait till it all goes away well you can't do that because clearly it's not going away in two days you know so you know you have to get up and and and, and really work your brain and work your mindset every single day think about the end of 1999 did we ever think we would be living in a pen an, a, a worldwide well, that is what a pen well is. technically in 1999 you know y2k was on its way so I mean, no sorry, one, yeah. we didn't think we were going to live another day after after that so. i don't know what maybe go back to 1999 but you wanted a party good point. good point it was y2k so let's fast forward that decade uh, 90s we, we could have a whole episode on the 90s uh, right but 2019 is really what i was saying and that we would be where we are now you know, yeah, we, right. as we record today, we got what four days left to the most contentious election ever. 
right? In our United States of America that don't seem to be very united at the moment. No, we're this just the states of America. We live in SA. It's just America. So yeah. we're, gonna, yeah. we're gonna figure out where we're gonna go with all that. So you're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. Let's dive into what we're going to wrap up our October on and, you know, whether or not you want to get into a whole, you're the person who loves the details, honestly, figure out what part of this business planning thing works for you. And I wanted to kind of cover it all in a recap today, Matt, and and remind everybody that they can go get our business planning course. And we're, that's flying off our shelves. That's free. We've got people up for that every day over at WBNLcoaching.com. All the show notes are in are over at the podcast you can go to wbnlpodcast.com this is episode 141 we have a link to the let me just real hit a a high level recap it's never too late to do business planning even though we focus on it in october so if you happen to be listening to this episode and it's january or some other month dive in and, and and dust this stuff off and go get our free downloads and our tracking guides and our goal workbook we have six or seven documents that you get for free Plus, we take you through a whole, Matt and I take you through a whole video planning course and help you understand how to set your proper goals and, and do these steps. So in, in back in episode 137, at the beginning of October, we talked about a review of your previous year. So there's all kinds of great things in that episode to help you figure out where have you been so far. And the, the, the thing that, as we were just talking, Matt, the thing that keeps coming up for everybody is it's very interesting. I'm talking to clients and they're saying, you know, I had a pretty decent year. I had a, a year better than I thought I was going to have considering the shutdown and everything that happened yeah. with COVID-19. So I, I feel that there's people who figured it out and there's people who sort of just, again, you talked about it at the top of the show, the mindset, are you going to just get back in bed and kind of stay depressed and not take action? Well, the people that did that, that they've got the results, whatever you decided to do, how your mindset was about it, you know, that is what's carried you through these months. Yeah, you really do manifest your own destiny. You really do. Speaking of manifesting your own destiny, do you want to put that in the show, the show notes? <laughs> Let's just talk about that for a second. So so Matt had a, a, a had a couple of things going on this week in his life. And yeah. besides perhaps uh, Yorba Linda and Anaheim Hills burning down. Oh, that, uh, you, had, that. you had to get a new refrigerator and then you had a water leak in your garage, correct? Yeah, it's been quite the week. <laughs> <laughs> it really has. You're sending me pictures of of what they're uh, tearing out to fix this water leak, and uh, he comes across. What did you do? Were you packing boxes, and you came across? No, the you you know, we, we have a storage closet that I had to take everything out of, and there were bins in that storage closet that literally have not been opened probably in ten or fifteen years. Right. You know, and they were getting old. The bins were actually starting to crack. So I went and bought some new heavy duty bins, and I was moving stuff from bin to bin, trying really hard not to go down the rabbit hole of looking at every single piece of paper in there because it's fun stuff. We saved it for a reason, right? So anyway. Sure. But what I want to say is he texts me a thing that says Emerson Graphics. And it's like, I just want to know how old you were. Okay, there it is. I was in, it was either late, I was in high school. I to have it right there in front I, of Well, me. yeah, I was in high school or maybe it was my first year of college, whatever. And I was coming up with logo designs. And I don't ever remember even doing this graphics thing. But it seems to be all I've been doing for the past five years. Kind of interesting manifestation. Yes, and he texts me this and he goes, talk about manifesting your destiny. And he he. You know, you years later. how many years before you came, came full circle and were WBL coaching, all of a sudden you become this masterful graphics artist yeah. slash marketing guy, That's right? Okay, yep. well, anyway, so the point I'm making here is he created that, you know, you had something out there and it just, the universe has a weird way of making you go down a path and you make decisions and how you're going to, you know, things are presented in my world, things are presented to you, doors are there you make your choices and that's how you live your life that's right? right absolutely so, uh so anyway the review of your business was the first step so that you could figure out where were you what you know and, and you let go of okay I, you know i didn't do this i didn't do that now we need to know what we got to do moving forward so then that was step one set yeah. your goals your goals for 2021 in all areas of your life we've got great stuff in that episode about smart goals and so on and of course we're talking about this you know for 20 30 minutes here in an episode it's all in our our course in, in great detail, walking you through how to do all this. And step two in, in 139 episode, that was the actual business plan, you know, 
completing that, turning your dollars into numbers of transactions and then into what are you going to do right. on a weekly basis to get it happening. Then we finished up last week with the formal part of the business plan on all the tools that we have to help you track and measure your results. So today what I wanted to do is come back and say a whole month has gone by since we started this. So with the beginning of uh, that first episode in October, we talked about activating your fourth quarter power. Well, now you have 60 days left as you listen to this, as we record it. So I want to really focus on what can you do in the next 60 days to activate your 60 day action plan? So what we talked about in there was to, we have a little, we have uh, just to revisit, we have a really cool, simple exercise in that review of your business that was start, stop, continue. I still stand by that as a simple, keeping things simple, right? This theme this year for us has been, how do you have fun with what you're doing, find the little golden nuggets and not overcomplicate it. You don't need to have crazy, you know, 15 things you're working on. You just need to be focused on one or two areas in your business. And I always say three things, but this starts up continuous. Basically, what's something that you've been saying you're going to do that you haven't done and you're going to start it? Are there things that you've been doing that are generally the procrastination and, oh, I don't know, diverting your attention to other things so you don't do the thing you really need to be doing? Right. <laughs> what's that's the stop part. And then did you do, a, did you start a new habit? Did you maybe start a daily ritual that you need to continue? That's just a good mindset piece to go. And then force the next 60 days. This is the challenge. This is the thing that I'm doing in all of our coaching appointments right now with clients, with people on our team is why don't you give us three or four goals that you're going to do between now and the end of the year. Now just make them easy, simple, not a huge list of things that are never going to happen in 60 days because it is the holidays. You are going to probably be spending time with family and or, or hopefully spending a little bit more time focusing on what you're going to do for the new year. But do you want to take a listing before the end of the year? Would you like to get a buyer in escrow? Do you want to set a couple more appointments? Just make it super simple and realistic about something that you're going to do because it's going to help you take action to the things that you might have already thought about what you're going to do for your business plan. It could be as simple as I'm going to call everybody in my database. We're going to give you some ideas next month on that using gratitude and some good touches and connections that you can make between now and the end of the year. Personally, I think that would be one spectacular, simplistic, easy and fun goal to do. And that's talk to everybody in your database in the next 60 days. Yep. It's going to generate some business. You could just do that and, and, and end the year strong. Also in this is going to be, do you have any projects do you have anything that you've been saying all year you wanted to get done? Like maybe it's finished up. I just did one yesterday. I finished the listing presentation I've been wanting to work on for our team. I'm super jazzed about it. It's been on the list forever. Big wow. huge check mark. I'm like, oh, look at this. This is something and it's an accomplishment. Now there's 10 more things on that list, but one of them is off. Okay. And one that's been hanging there for a long time because yeah. it's a big project. Yeah. I have to get you to look at it. It's in Canva because maybe. I know. I was already spying on it. Yeah. You could see if you want. Look, I am not the. Graphic wizard Emerson Graphics. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not A. It looks good. Put your spin on it or alignment on it. I just put my thoughts on it the way I want it to flow. And then between, you know, uh, it goes back to you and you make it look better. And anyway, very excited about it. Did you, did you really look at it? Yeah, I did. It looked good. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right. That means a lot. <laughs> Three last things to finish up here uh, for this 60 day. Three things to just really make it happen. It's so easy to say, yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But now we got to put it into action. All right. So the first one, these are not going to be new things. If you are a fan of our show and you listen to, to Jan and Matt, um, but I want to revisit it because it's the simple things that we keep on saying that we need to be doing that. If you just do them, everything works out. Mm-hmm. It's like there isn't a magic pill. There isn't a new easy solution to do real estate or any kind of commission sales. It's a real simple, a simple formula. You got to get in front of enough people that want your service. It's really that. I mean, isn't that business 101? Absolutely. If, you're, if you're a restaurant, you have enough, you have to have enough people come to your restaurant. You have to have enough people give you good reviews so that they word of mouth. And it's all the same in real estate. It's great service, but rinse, repeat. You got to be. And so that's number one, time blocking in your perfect week. Yep. The easiest thing everyone can do the one thing that if you just did this five days a week for me too and i'm telling you i speak from i speak with what i need to do myself just like any good teacher or coach 
or doctor even, you're dispensing the advice that you need to follow yourself. Guilty. There you go. It's basically at least one hour a day, one to two hours a day. This is your prescription for success is one to two hours a day scheduled in your work week, in your day planner, in your calendar that you keep the appointment. It's an appointment with yourself. It's the very first thing we delete when something else comes up that's like more fun or whatever. Oh, I can't do that right now because I got to go handle X. So no more excuses. One, at least just one hour. One hour. Start with one hour. That's five hours a week. One hour. Put nine to ten in the morning as a time that you're going to reach out and you're going to make the connections that you need to do. Don't get distracted. That means turn off your devices and don't go down the uh, social media rabbit hole and the internet rabbit hole, right? Yep. Focus, make connections to generate new business. If you consistently do that, and I just shared with you what I think should be for the next 60 days. Let me give you an example of what I have been setting this intention of doing and reaching out to old coaching clients. And uh, it's, it's amazing when you set that. So that was number one. Number two is mindset and intention. Um, so what I mean by that is setting the intention that I, you know, in your goals is that I want to get two more clients this, this, in the next 60 days. Um, so I have this intention of reaching out to anybody that I've done business with and for our coaching company, Matt, anybody that was a coaching client or has our team builder program, because I think everybody's been so busy that they may not know we're on our new platform, even though we right. sent a couple emails. And so, you know what I'm committed to doing? And maybe you can commit to doing this with me because this will be a really easy thing for both of us to do. And, it, and I think it would generate some business and interest. Uh, and then the reason why I'm saying this is a past client reached out to me this morning, yesterday saying, hey, I'm at a crossroads. I don't know if you're still busy doing your brokerage or you're not even coaching anymore. So he doesn't even know because right. I, I haven't done a great, just because I sent an email saying this, that, or the other, I haven't done what I said I was going to do, which is to let people know what I'm doing. And if you're listening, and I mean not running a brokerage anymore, doing coaching full-time and running my team. Now, if I, had, if I send that message out personally to people in my database, I'm going to generate some more business. And so are you. The people in your database may not know that you are still in business because you haven't done a great job taking, staying in touch with them. You all think you do and you're not. Right. You're not. You know you're not. Well, okay. And this year more than ever, really. You know, people, yeah. people make a lot, have made a lot of assumptions this year that may be yeah. not correct. But I'm not joking. So I've been putting the attention out. I have a, this person who reached out to me is someone who's been on my mind and he reached out to me first. And it just made me like, gosh, I gotta do that. See, so that's I'm just sharing that story with you. That the one thing you everybody can do, you don't need any other anything. No magic. Here's a new way to generate leads. None of that works as well as just talking to the people in your database. Right. right. And you have something to say. People do want to hear from you. And as much I've been, I, I had I've had four coaching sessions with agents on our team. Everybody has talked to me about the one, this one thing that I have, how many times have I been talking about doing in a, a hyper local newsletter, a business <laughs> newsletter where you talk about your local oh, area. And have we been talking about that for like five years? Oh, well, we've been talking about it for a long time. Let's see, it's episode 141. So oh, at least a hundred times. So we do this on our team. And I'm going to tell you, everybody on my team has told me that they have gotten some business from a newsletter that we send out every month. That's it. I mean, we're, we're now actually working on implementing the things that I coach and talk about here on the podcast and our right. coaching business and our training of simpler other touches that you can do with your database. We're implementing those for 2021. That's what we've been talking about in all of our coaching sessions. But I'm going to tell you right now, yesterday, Dennis says, yeah, the guy that I, I got in a couple of pieces of business said, I saw your newsletter. Hey, we want to sell our house. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not lying. I'm not making this up. Yeah. It, just touch people, connect, but you got to show some value. We're not talking about some off the shelf newsletter you get that's boring. This is a, this takes a little bit of work, but it's a, it's a, it's me. I do it for my team and you should do it for yourself or if you're a team leader, I record a, a monthly what's going on in the market. I enjoy that. I want to know what's going on in the market. People want to know what's going on in the market. Sure, sure. So we do that. We do a local business. Uh, we support a local business. We will do some educational stuff. It's informative. It's not all self-promotional. There's like one thing in there, okay? So enough of that. You just got to get connected with people and you're going to get have it on. So this is intention of setting the intention is when you are 
getting into that one hour day that you're going to do that, you got to get yourself in the right mindset. If you've been like fired up because you had an angry conversation with a crazy real estate agent or whatever, don't get on the phones. That energy comes through the phones and, and everything. So go do whatever it is you need to do to change your mindset, change your state of being. It could be uh, taking a walk, doing some breathing exercises. It could be, for me, it's listening to music. You know, just change your mindset. What about for you? What helps you if you're like really frustrated, mad? And no, it's always getting out and doing them for a walk. Always. That's all, getting, out, getting outside is always the thing for me. Got to put a smile back on your voice. That's it. That's it right there. Put a smile in your voice because people can see it and hear yep. it. Okay. They yep. can they hear it and they can see the state of being that you're in. It's super powerful. Um, big fan of the daily ritual. Do I always do it? No. Do I, every time I say it on the podcast, it's because I realize I need to get back to it because it's right. a life changer for me. And I rediscovered Hal Elrod. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Miracle Morning and Hal. Hal has a great podcast. Um, he's coming out. It caught my attention recently. And I have a link in the show notes on 12-12-2020. He's got a movie coming out. And it's a, it's a documentary on his amazing story of how he practically died, not once, but twice. Mm -hmm. Once in a brutal car crash and they never thought he'd walk again he would be brain damaged and um you know just horrible hit by hit by a drunk driver yeah. the sales conference and then he's he's suffered through two strains of cancer a recurrence of cancer great great story but his whole miracle morning is about the savers the lifesavers he calls them but he had you know <clears throat> i listened to a, the, a bit of the trailer of the movie <clears throat> and i remember after i read the book he has this five minute rule, which is so powerful. And we should probably revisit a little bit next month uh, and get into a little deeper discussion on that Miracle Morning stuff. But this five minute rule is something horrific happened to him. He's in a car accident, right? And the doctors are saying to his family, we think Hal is not being, you know, he's in denial about what's happening to him. He's probably never gonna walk and it's all this negative stuff. And he has a five minute rule that he learned through trainers and maybe a mentor in the Cutco knife company. <laughs> it's like this thing that stuck with this guy's life that then turned into these savers is you think about it for five minutes, the thing you, you deal with it, you, you, you're angry and all that. And then you come to the realization that you can't change what's happened to you. So then it becomes acceptance. So it's kind of like the five stages of grief in five minutes acceptance. And now what am I going to do about it? Okay. And he just changed his mind. He didn't believe what the doctor said. And you know, there's more to the story there, but he has a five minute rule. And then he developed these savers and the savers are silence. It's S A V E R S. You can do this in six minutes. There's a one minute version for one minute for each of them. You can spend an hour, his whole press. The whole thing that changed him was that he got up an hour earlier and he did these six things silence, which is meditation. Uh, prayer, affirmations. I say, state your goals out loud, turn your goals into affirmations. That's, and you can do that in 60 seconds, visualize, and that's visualizing your goals and your success or where you want to be or what it is that you want. Exercise in some fashion, uh, read and scribe, which is journaling. Boom. There it is. There's your daily ritual. All right. More to come on that. And then just set the intention when, so that's a great way to start your day and then go jump right in to your lead generation and attracting business. You're in the right mindset. You're pumped. You're positive. You just visualized. You just affirmed your success. You set your intention in that hour. And this is something I coach people to do. Like when they hold an open house, I did it before I held my last open house. We were finally able to do some open houses. I set the intention before I went and as I'm setting up the signs that someone is going to come to this open house and be attracted through the things that we did. And I'm going to have a great conversation with and maybe sell this house. And I had four people come through. There was some interest and I did pick up one, right. um, one potential client from that. And I really do think it has a lot to do with just the way I set my intention as opposed to, Oh God, I'm doing an open house. Probably nobody's going to come. I mean, just see the difference there. And I say that because for years, that's, that's what I would listen to agents say, oh, I did another open house and it didn't work. Of course it didn't work because you didn't want it to work. This right. is what you're saying, okay? It's, it's It sounds simplistic, but it's not. The power of your intention and your mindset and what you're doing. And I mean, come on, we're living in a world right now that this is proven again and again how you can overcome anything. I mean, the Hal Elrod story is crazy off the scale, unbelievable. That's why he's a miracle. Right. You know, but then it could just be these small things that happen to all of us. And that gets over a fire scare, you know, 
you know, his, his uh, things happening this week that are breaking down in his house, right? And you could get angry. You could get upset about it. You just roll with it. That's right. You do what you, you know, you make the adjustment. You, you know, deal with that. That gets you off task to do this. This is life. This is what we have to do, right? All right. And the last piece of this today is accountability. All right. So once again, a couple things. Find somebody to hold you accountable. Find an accountability partner, right? Start or join accountability meeting um, or mastermind. We're using Zoom. Use Zoom to hold each other accountable. Or if you just have an accountability partner, set what the intentions are of what you're going to hold. Share what your goals are for the next 60 days. Get the other person to share that. And then maybe you do a daily text. How did it go? Or you just text the other person. That's right. My five calls, I did why one hour, and this is my results, right? Um, you can hire a coach. Uh, we know some coaches that, that could help you, okay? Uh, that could help you out with that. And then just be very specific. Don't make it over complicated. Right. That's whatever the success things that you're going to do. Remember, we've talked about where it could just be as simple as, but like you could just say for the next 60 days, I'm going to get through the 100 people in my database. And to do that, I'm going to work this many days and I need to make 10, you know, I need to make five, five connections a day. Something as simple as that. Find somebody to hold you accountable to it and get them to share their goals and you'll get through it. And that's all there is to this. Don't make it overcomplicated, right? What were you going to say? I was going to say I would be remiss, Jenna Bryan, on the topic of accountability, not to actually ask you a question that we wrote down last week in episode 140 that I was, as your accountability coach, going to ask you this week. Oh, my God. Really? Uh, we have not talked about this prior to the show, Jan, but did you finish your t uh, 2020 closing report as you said you were going to have done by no, the end? I did not. And I knew that I had something that I was supposed to do. I started it but did not complete it. I have all the things I need okay. right here. I hate, I hate to have to call you out live like this, oh, but I like that to be done by next week. Okay, hold on. I have to put this down on my thing because I am so... Thank you, accountability partner. You're very welcome. Oh my God. See? Oh my God. Great. Thank you. Now, okay. perhaps as a better accountability coach, I might have maybe reminded you throughout the week, but no, better just to bring it up right here during a live podcast. Well, I'm just going to say <clears throat> that is at the top of my list now. Very good. And I am going to get that accomplished. And I would really ask you, accountability coach, to hold me accountable to that again. I'm going to recommit. And this is, thank you, Matt. Well, this is not a setup. I totally. No, it really wasn't a setup. Um, I, I want to recommit to it. I feel like, holy crap, I didn't even keep that commitment to myself. It's been in the back of my mind and I didn't do it. I let other things get in the way. Right. And All the things that always happen to everybody. That's the whole point. This is a great exercise, actually. It's not justifying it. What I will say is that I am recommitted to doing that. That is important for my business plan for our team and where we're at and getting a sense because I'm getting ready for Cosmo and I to have after we have our business planning sessions with our agency and I are going to do a business planning session. And I have to have that information. Otherwise, we're just in the dark. How many, how many deals have we closed? I'm like everybody else right now. I don't know. A lot. I don't know. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Can we end this show now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. See, so don't feel bad. So we're all in the same boat, kids. Well, it's all good stuff. So a good wrap up to our uh, our business planning month. So great. Sticky note. I'm putting that right in front of my computer. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. All right, well, I guess that is a wrap for episode 141 of the Wander But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. You can find all of our show notes, as always, over at WBNLpodcast.com. Don't forget to get over to that site and sign up for our free business plan mini course. Uh, it, like Jan mentioned it earlier, they are kind of flying off the shelves now, thankfully. We have unlimited unlimited access to that as far as how many people. So please get over there and do that. It is really great stuff. If you haven't started your plan, you need to get in there and and uh, and get it started. So um, I, I it's uh, the thirtieth of October. This is the first day of um, early voting in Orange County. So when my sweet pea gets out of school today, we are taking our butts over and casting our vote. I'm very excited about that. I always love voting. I know there's something that just makes me feel so great about that like you know you you finally get to you know say say your piece hopefully vote your voice vote your mind 
you know, you can't complain about it if you don't take part in our democratic right to vote. So that's I'll right. And get out there. And, you know, I'm just going to leave it with find your path. You find your path, people. And if you are looking for a very motivational shirt to wear, you can go over to, uh, is it over on wanderingbenotlost.com? Yeah, wanderingbenotlost.com slash store. You can find your path and you get ready for next month. We've got an I Am Grateful shirt. You're going to be seeing a lot on us for, for a few weeks. So right. uh, get over there and check out the store. And hey, if you if you have any design that you'd like to be you'd like to be designed let us know because we'll make you custom shirts huh what do you think about that anyway so as jan said find your path get up get out mask up vote all those things and be forever wandering but not lost